and this is a really really easy tutorial using my really really old version of word please don't be mean i know it's old but yeah i think it'd be great for christmas gifts or a diy photo booth and if you want a video on how to make a diy photo booth leave me a comment below because i think that's something i'd be interested in doing and if you want to see it then i'll get it done so yeah i'm just going to jump straight into the tutorial So the first thing you want to do is go to table, insert and then a table with one column and four rows or however many pictures you want to put onto your photo strip and I'm just going to put this onto the other page so it's easier for you to see it. I like making the last bit a little bit smaller um, for like a bit of text so you can just do that by um, dragging it up like so. Now you're just going to want to pick the pictures you want and put them onto the page. Here you can see me changing the border, so it's on right click, borders and shading. Make sure you click on the actual photo strip. And I like the thicker one because I think it gives a more, um, like, photy boofy, <laughs> photy boofy look, whatever that means. Now if you just click on one of the pictures, this little box in the corner you can see it come up and the one that shows dog, you want to click behind text and then go onto your picture, right click, go to order and centre back so our picture is actually behind the photo booth strip instead of on top of it. Here you can see I've put it where I want it. And I'm going to crop mine just to save time, you can adjust yours. And if the pictures are different, say if they're wider, you can always make the border a wider size to accommodate them or you can just crop like I did. Now with the next picture you're just going to do the exact same, dog, behind text, right click, order center back and just do exactly the same so i'm just going to adjust it and then crop off the excess and there you have it really quick really simple really easy my word is really old <laughs> I think this would be great for saving memories from the summer or like I said Christmas gift and I'd advise to use photo paper or maybe card just because it'll hold its shape longer but if you want to use normal paper go ahead. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, leave me a little comment, share it. So yeah I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll see you next time, bye!